Hey, this is Emily from Emily Plans Life. So today I'm switching gears and showing a scrapbook video. Don't have many of these on my channel. Um, I think I have a couple of flip throughs of December Daily, but this is something I kind of want to get into a little bit more. I've, I've been scrap, um, scrapbooking for about 20 years and um, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's my main craft. Um, planners actually isn't my main thing, but I love those too because of course, paper and stickers. So today I'm gonna to be showing a mini album that my mom and I made. Um, she has one that we, we kind of made them alongside each other. And the basic concept is the same, although of course we chose different uh, papers for different places um, within the album. So um, I'm gonna show a walkthrough of that, uh, my process for where everything's gonna go, and then walk you through some of the supplies that I'm using. Okay, so, this entire book was made using um, products which are metal die cut things from Creek Bank Creations. I'll be linking their YouTube and then also a playlist that mom and I made um, with all the products that we used from them. Um, and, and they do step-by-step -step videos that really walk you through it. Um, she's very great at explaining everything. And then we would just like pause it and do whatever they said um, as we went. So mom and I went to a stamp and scrapbook show last year in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we saw this whole system. They have a bunch of albums made and we we're like, okay, we're going to splurge on this. We're going to split it and it's going to be awesome. So that's what this picture is from. And then um, that was in October, and then we spent, I would say, two to three craft sessions over at her house just creating these albums with all these um, details, and I'm going to walk you through everything, but there's a lot to them. Um, we never made anything like this, so honestly, it was a bit of a learning curve for us, but we are thrilled with the outcome, and now I've finally got my pictures printed so the fun part's going to start with decorating everything so um this first section and what i did to like figure out what i wanted to use let me go through that first um so i kind of made a list of everything that like the topics that i wanted to include in the book and then i went and figured out how many photos i had and then kind of assigned them throughout the book. So there's a couple of sections, especially where I had a lot of photos, like this camping spread. I have a lot of photos here. And then in the back, um, if you are in near Sevierville, Tennessee, there's a place called Dollywood, which is Dolly Parton's theme park. And so I have a lot of pictures. So this waterfall section I knew could hold one topic really well. Um, so that's how I figured out what was going to go where. So in the front pocket, um, I wanted to use this as a, this pretty hello autumn thing. Um, I wanted to use this as kind of a way to document how this whole thing got started. So I'm going to have, um, there's some die cuts in the uh, products that we bought. So we made some tags. So I'll just embellish this and I'll be able to put our photo of us at the show and then our finished, um, semi-finished product on the back. So that's the first part. And then um, here, I'm just going to use this as a big selfie that my husband and I took. This page then flips out and in here, I'm going to be documenting a trip to um, Disney and Universal that we took last year. So, these pages are really cool. They are magnetic. You can hear that. Um, these are like little flip-flap pages, I, guess, I think is what they're called. So, I'm going to put some photos here or maybe on the insides. Um, you can also decorate the outside. And this isn't going anywhere. Like, this holds pretty well. Even with these photos behind it, it's still those photos aren't going anywhere. So I'll put those there and then just something cute for decoration. Um, that's the first page. And then on the back of that, the next page is, I think it might be called a waterfall pocket. Um, so I have decided to use this section here and this tag section as um, a way to document a camping trip that we took. So with these, you just make three different pockets. Um, you know, you could put whatever you wanted to down there. We just chose to make 
some more tags and then of course plenty of room to embellish those and put stuff on them. I'll have this big one back here. The next is um, kind of a peekaboo page. So again, there's magnets involved here. You can hear that a little bit. And these fold down so you can put like a picture down here. Um, you could put a picture here. There's more room here. And then this is the back. So this is where I'm going to put a selfie of us while uh, one of our days we were out um, running around for our camping trip. And then, of course, our chili that we made. Um, inside, I've got another pocket. So this is similar to this one here. Um, and some of these are actually the same where, like, this waterfall pocket is kind of like the reverse of this. So um, a lot of ways to customize this again and then how you choose your patterns, endless. So this one, we just stuck a couple of tags in here, but I also thought this would be a good place, like if you had any sort of ephemera from um, an event you went to, a program, anything like that, you could tuck that inside. So this kind of ended up being like a random section. I just had a couple of um, Manny shots that I did. So, I, you know, I may find something else to add in there too. We'll see. Here I have a page that opens up this way, and then this one opens here. Both of these uh, have lined inside just a different color. And then this little pocket or flap here, um, I put that to kind of cover up this cute phrase on the back. And then I'll be using this to document some of the leaves here in um, my yard and my neighbor's yard, and then a selfie that I took with my parents over at their house. So I've got that all tucked in. And then this one folds over. Um, this one's just a, a cute decorative sheet. Over here, this is a really cool page. It has this little flap that kind of spins, and then these will open up. So in here, I'm gonna put a picture of my Pyrex, and then a couple of close-ups. Um, from that display and then these go back here and you just spin that back over hold it closed this is more of a decorative spot these are really tiny pictures um so I, or holes where you could put something so not exactly 100 sure what i'm doing here yet um, but those are pretty cute and then this is a cool page where it kind of swings like a pendulum so you can look and see what's under those you can also remove it and we made it two-sided so that you could flip it over to either side so our Thanksgiving was kind of ruined last year because um, half the family was sick with COVID so we kind of had to do our own thing and I have absolutely zero pictures from Thanksgiving so my mom saved the day and sent me a couple um, they ended up getting Cracker Barrel takeouts and then of course a picture of their cute little dog Sally just looking adorable hungry of course so I'm gonna stick those in there and again that holds like these magnets are really thin um, but they work very well and then the last page is that waterfall one that I described. So this is um, a pumpkin one that I chose because this is called the Dollywood Lumi Nights pumpkin light kind of thing that they have. So you can put a ton of pictures in here. I have six printed out um, and I printed them three by four. So um, all of these I did in landscape mode um, or orientation. And I just, I think I did like yeah, I did six because I'm thinking I might actually have some ephemera that could go in this from Dollywood, but I got to look at that and see. So that is how it's constructed, um, you know, the basic outlines. And then, of course, I will be decorating the outside. And as I glue these pictures in, um, adding lots and lots of embellishments. So let me go through everything I'm using. This is the Simple Stories, um, let me see what this is called, Harvest Market. So I love the colors in this. Um, we actually bought this at the Scrapbook Show too. We bought it from um, Scrap It in the City, which is a Knoxville real life scrapbook store. It's great. Um, so I have some pages left over. We bought the um, 
like 12 by 12 pack and then we also split like a six by eight I think it was so I do have some sheets left over there's a lot of really cute tags and stuff that I'd like to um hopefully include you know of course I'm gonna have some journaling in here so there's lots of room for that um and then a few other like smaller ones that could be cut apart too these were from the um six by eight collection or pack whatever and then of course got have some stickers we also selected some cardstock from our stash so these are just colors that kind of went um got like a darker blue in here and then there was a lighter blue i used a couple times too but i don't think there was any of that left over so these are some more pieces that i could choose from and then um got a few card or chipboard stickers and then some of these other things um i've just kind of grabbed because they were you know fallish so this is from bungalow lane um which was a Paige Evans collection. All of this doesn't go, but like some of it really does. So I'll be looking through that. Um, I have some stickers. This is all just from my stash. Um, anything that I felt like kind of went color wise, I just threw in here because I'd rather have, you know, more than I need than not enough. And I really would like to use up as much of this as possible. So these are some more stickers. And I just use these bags. To like, Yeah, these are from Studio Calico. Um, I use these in an organizer that I have from Ikea. Um, that way I can just pull out like one of these. And now I have all my like flat stickers. So put these in here too. Uh, these were some more scraps that I had from like smaller scraps left over from the paper. Um, a few more things here. These are from Harvest uh, Market. So I got this little journal bits um, set, some enamel dots, some ephemera. And then these are self-adhesive self brads and chipboard pieces. So of course those all coordinate. And I just put them in a bag by themselves so I'll know they all go together, part of the collection. Got some 3D stickers here. So again, just fallish stuff, things that went with the colors. Um, these are all old, really old for my stash. So maybe I can use some of those up. Um, I put a few buttons in here. I, I mean, these are kind of old. I, I don't know that they're necessarily in style anymore for scrapbooking, but they can work. They're kind of basic. Um, I did also purchase the washi tape from the Harvest Market collection, so I would like to use some of those. And then just a few more smaller stickers that I've got in the front pocket of this, and then some die cuts that my mom cut out for me. And a few chipboard frames, which may or may not work. I mean, this, this book is um, obviously going to be very bulky, so um, we'll see if these make sense to add in, but they do go as far as the colors. So that is pretty much it. Um, I also have this ribbon pack that, um, I don't know if you ever go into Michael's and you see those like color coordinated or um, holiday themed stick or ribbon packs but these are really pretty so mom and I split those and may use them on some of the um, examples they had at the scrapbook show that we went to they had used some ribbons and I can't remember exactly how they were done I think they were done on the inside like in between the pages and because like these are just white on the background. And then the part I can't re totally remember is if it like went across the back or not, or the outside of the spine, but I think it did. Um, we took a video of one of the examples so that we could really see. And then of course on the scrapbook or on their YouTube, they have some walkthroughs of the, um, of some of their completed albums. So definitely check that out. So let me know if you've ever used, um, if you've ever made a mini album like this that has lots of like 3D extra kind of stuff, um, you know, interactive parts, this is going to be 
I guess a second for me. I have made one before, but it wasn't um, quite as complicated as this one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you're into mini albums or if you've made a fall mini album. So if you would like to hit subscribe, that'd be great. That way you'll know when I make new videos. And then if you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Emily Plans Life for planner stuff and at Mrs. Crafty Adams for life and scrapbook. Thanks. Have a great day.